Hi all, welcome back to our YouTube channel. In this video, we are going to cover the human input output or IO channels. So, let's get started. First, let us understand why study of IO channels is important in HMI. Humans are limited in their capacity to process information. This has important implications for design. Humans interact with the world through information being received via input channels and sent via output channels. So let us understand using some graphics. Here a human is interacting with a machine. In interaction with a machine, user receives information that is output by the machine and responds by providing input to the machine. Thus, the human's output acts as input to the machine and machine's output acts as input to the human. Now let us understand all these channels one by one. Input Channels Input occurs through senses. There are five major senses or input channels like sight, hearing, touch, taste and smell. Out of these five, first three that is sight, hearing and touch have major applications in HMI. So let us understand using some examples. Visual channel or sight. Sight helps us to perceive the environment, in this case the content displayed on the mobile screen. Next is the hearing or auditory channel. For example, hear our mobile phone ring, message notification and alarm sound or listening to music. Next is touch or haptic channel that allows us to perceive the environment using sensations like vibrations from our mobile phone or smartwatch. Now let us move on to output channels. Output occurs through motor control of the effectors. There are a number of effectors including limbs, fingers, eyes, head and vocal system. Let us understand using some examples. Fingers as effector. Fingers allows us to interact with the environment or provide input to a machine like typing on our keyboard and entering numbers on a calculator. The next is vocal system as effector. For example, giving voice commands to our smart devices is one of the ways we use voice as input for the machine. Next are the limbs as effectors. Most of our actions require us to use our limbs like riding a bicycle, using a vacuum cleaner, etc. So, we receive the information using sensors and act on the environment or machine using motor organs or effectors. What comes between in these interactions is storing the information in the memory and processing it to rationalize and act. So let us understand memory briefly. There are three types of memory or memory functions. The first is sensory memory. Sensory memory acts as buffer for stimuli we receive through our senses. The next is short term memory or working memory which acts as a scratch pad for temporary recall of information. And the last one is long term memory where we store all the factual information, experimental knowledge and procedural rules of behavior. In fact, everything we know we store in long term memory. That's it for the video guys. Thanks for watching the video and if you have any doubts, please do let us know in the comment section below. If you have liked the content, then do like and share with your friends and subscribe to be the best channel for more such videos. Meet you in the next video of the HMI series. Bye-bye.